Hello friends, it's Monday. Monday is the day of days with things happening. I say the same thing every intro to hot news, but yet you guys keep coming back to watch them. Isn't it, isn't it funny how life works sometimes? I'm inevitable. And I'm Kanye West. So, let's talk about the inevitable part of this. Our sponsor spot, Display. Check out these dope metal prints at display.com forward slash UFD tech official. My goodness, they have weeb stuff. Non-weeby stuff, the weebiest weeb stuff you could imagine, and then also just like really cool things like that dope Ninja Turtles poster I'm looking at right now. It's amazing. And they plant 10 trees for every disc plate you buy. 10 trees, that's a whole lot of trees. Anyways, use coupon code UFD to save 15% off on your purchase. Do it, buy plates of dis. But speaking of dis, let's go ahead and dis whoever brought up the rumor that AMD was gonna be rejecting the reference RX 5700 series cards. Apparently, what people were thinking when the new, you know, AIB partner models were dropping that, it, that they were just gonna stop it altogether. There was rumors flying here, flying there. We didn't cover them because we took Friday off because it was National Women's Day here in South Africa and it's a public holiday. So we couldn't even cover the rumor, but just as quick as it popped up and everybody was reporting on it, it was squashed by AMD themselves saying, uh, yo, dogs, no. Just like with Lisa Sue, it's a bad time for the AMD rumor business where people were saying, yo, Lisa Sue is moving to IBM. And she was like, nah, fam. Best days ahead of her. Anyways, so Scott Herkelman from AMD has said that uh, they're going to continue providing reference model AMD RX 5700 series cards on AMD's own website and that they're gonna to continue to assist AIB partners with reference design kits if that's how they want to build them. But just like it has been with Nvidia side of things, once the AIB partner models come out, they don't really sell them from the, uh, from the AIB partners, although AIM, NVIDIA hasn't done that since the 10 series, where you had like a 1080 Founders Edition coming from ASUS. It, that's, I mean, this is a pretty standard model. Nothing's really special about this. It appears that AMD isn't killing off their GPU just because the AIB partner models are better and their reference models are hot, blowing, loud things of garbage. That might be a subjective statement. That might not be true. And I'm gonna piss off a lot of people by even saying that. And it would be a right old shame if they just canceled it out, right? Cause then you couldn't have beauties like this. The EK Vector Radeon 5700 XT RGB block. Anything with a reference design. Ooh, can use this pretty little boy. This came in today, I'm excited for it. Anyways, does he could have water cooled this? And then you have to wear for, wait for them to come out with the custom bog. It's just easier to get reference. It's amazing. Anyways, this is good news. AMD is still gonna be selling them, but AMD not out of the hot water just yet because uh, there's been some controversy surrounding their Zen 2 CPUs and how their boost clock system is working with their website quoting maximum boost clock, but people not really seeing that clock speed and it's a little funky. Anyways, they've added a disclaimer on their website to stipulate that, uh, uh, you know, this is the maximum cool frequency at which the processor is capable of operating under nominal conditions. Don't know why that's the way my voice decided to go, but that's what you get here on Hot News. And they don't say normal conditions, they say nominal conditions. Just so you know, okay? You think you're gonna get 4.5 gigahertz on your 3800X? Think twice, my friend. Unless you're a processor, then you can think a couple billion times a second. Speaking of billions, Intel with that cash, cash dollar. Anyways, there has been some uh, unveiling or revealing rather behind the scenes of the Phantom Canyon Nook that they're anticipating coming out. It's gonna feature Tiger Lake CPUs, Project Z graphics, as well as PCI Express Gen 4. So Intel actually making all of the advancements that we hoped that they would coming out with a Nook that has all Intel parts, probably even an Optane SSD in there, and bam, it's all just like a gorgeous Intel box. And they're gonna be upgrading to PCI Express 4.0. This is everything we needed, except for the fact that it probably, probably won't come out until 2021. But a 28 watt, 10 nanometer plus Tiger Lake CPU with Project Z, that, that's got my mouth watering, my friends. I'm excited for this. In, in a few years. Okay, I'm just gonna forget about it until then. But in case you like Intel NUC news for whatever reason, it's kind of a thing that you enjoy. There also has been some unveiling of the Quartz Canyon NUC, which is current gen stuff, which should support either eight core Xeon E chips or the ninth gen i7 chip. You can fit like a mini ITX GPU in it. It's, it's a NUC. What do you want? No Intel GPU in this one. But let's talk about something that's gonna affect a lot of people. 
a lot of people because there's been a report coming out from the cybersecurity firm Eclipsium stating that uh, there's a lot of drivers that have some privilege escalation issues in them and that they, they shouldn't be there. So there's a lot of manufacturers and it's been aptly named screwed drivers. Anyways, uh, you got people such as Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, AMI, Phoenix, Asus, Toshiba, Supermicro, Gigabyte, MSI, EVGA, and a lot of others who have some uh, privileged access to things that shouldn't be there via drivers. This isn't obviously the first time that there's been some issues with drivers. We reported last week about NVIDIA's drivers uh, that patched some of the software vulnerabilities that were in them. But then there's also been things like, uh, you know, Asus including stuff installed on your computer that's actually kind of maybe just, uh, you know, malware. Probably shouldn't be there. It's happened before. Also happened with Lenovo, if I recall correctly. Yeah, don't do it, friends. Friends don't let friends have pre-installed stuff on their computers. That's why I go stock Android all the time. Pixel. Pixel or bust. I want to give the almighty Google my money. Google. Google. Speaking of people wanting your money, Samsung. Let's talk about phones. Continuing on that. Uh, anyways, they unveiled a 108 megapixel mobile sensor that apparently is going to be going into some phones, such as, uh, you know, the Xiaomi's Redmi devices, which if anybody's gonna have crazy phones, it's gonna be Xiaomi, Oppo, those, those phone brands. They come out with things that are rather insane. As you can probably tell, it's gonna be one of the largest sensors ever featured in a smartphone. And considering the fact that like even modern mirrorless or DSLRs are like in the 20 to 40 megapixel range and you really have to go up to medium format to get 100 megapixels, they just, they really don't care about the size of those pixels. <laughs> so it's just, it's not a thing. Their concern is not there. You know who else's concern is not there? Twitch. Because, you know, when your fame star leaves the platform and you decide to promote everybody else on your platform, you know the best thing to do, especially if it was a child-friendly creator? Yeah, you just stream porn to 20,000 people. That's, that's just the way to go. And you promote it on Ninja's page. That's just how it, how it works. I don't make the rules. Apparently neither does Twitch, or at least they don't enforce them because it was up for two hours. Anyways, in case you haven't heard of the huge debacle that went down, Ninja signed with Mixer, which is owned by Microsoft, a streaming service, he's exclusive there. And so Twitch was like, okay, well, since you're gone, we're gonna use your page to promote to other people, which is not how they do it with anybody else who chooses to not stream on their site. Apparently they are trying it out, but of course, you know, they try it out on the biggest brand on their website. Regardless, that's not the point here. They recommend creators, but apparently it's automated and they're not hand selecting creators. And apparently they also have issue with making sure that there's not porn on the website, which I mean, whether or not you think Twitch should have porn, it at least should not come at people's eyeballs with no notification that uh, this is intended for mature audiences only because you go to Ninja, you click on his YouTube page which sends you to his Twitch channel and there you go. You're, you're looking at a dude's butt. Is that what you want? This is what happens when giant corporations fight over people. Porn. It's a, it's a crazy world. Anyways, Twitch's CEO responded saying that, uh, oh, we didn't mean for this to happen. I'm not sure how you have 20,000 people watching porn on your website. They probably reported it and then you don't deal with it for two hours. How does that happen? But then secondly, he said that uh, this was not our intent, but it should not have happened. No excuses. I, I'm, I'm so glad to know there's no excuses. You know, for, for all of the, uh, you know, 10 year olds who I know who are going to look at Ninja's website, whether they're pure or they've been compromised by their friends and they've already seen it, that's not where you find it. Stop it. Get yourself together, Twitch. But let's stay on Amazon's properties for right now because Twitch owned by Amazon. Apparently the Lord of the Rings TV show that's gonna happen on Amazon, at least according to this Engadget title, can't contradict Tolkien's lore. I think they mean won't, but uh, they're gonna keep a close eye on the lower accuracy of Lord of the Rings. Which is good, you know, because uh, there's not another fantasy TV show series that didn't stick to how it was supposed to go in the books and completely ruin everybody's experiences. That didn't happen. Don't worry, if anybody's not gonna do it, it's gonna be Amazon.
Okay, let's talk about something else that went wrong, which is the New York City Fire Department has apparently just straight up lost the hard drives, which contain records of over 10,000 people's medical uh, files. That's a lot of hard drives to lose. Actually, files are small, unless there's pictures and video in there, in which case that could be a lot of data. But regardless, they're treating it like a data breach because, the, I mean, the data is probably breached. And, I mean, medical records tend to have things uh, that are both personally identifiable, but then also just really close to the things that you don't want out there, like your social security number and your first pet's name, which then gets you into the security question. I miss you, Scooby. I don't. That dog sucked. <laughs> And then in good news, at least what we think is good news, uh, the trade war that has been going on between Japan and South Korea that was potentially going to drive up the prices of DRAM as well as NAND flash, which would increase RAM and SSD pricing. Well, there was an announcement saying that, uh, yeah, no, we're still gonna be shipping stuff to South Korea and industrial chemicals are now on their way. Japan was like, we don't normally issue did, uh, statements about this, but South Korea called it an export ban and we just had to contradict them. So, you know, we're feuding. It's not feudal Japan, it's just feuding Japan. I'm ending on that pun, I'm so sorry. Anyways, don't forget to check out Displates at displate.com forward slash UFD Tech Official. Enter UFD as the coupon code. Let me know what was your favorite story today, my friends. Was it the Amazon Lord of the Rings thing? Was it AMD stuff? I wanna hear from you down below in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our news. I'm Brett. I don't know what channel this is going on yet. I'll make that determination during editing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see your smiling face again in the next video. Bye. Bye bye. Is that what you want?